Hey Facebook, YouTube, how you guys all doing tonight? Hey listen, I'm making up, so I'm making a dish of uh, baked haddock fillets, and I'm going to top them with some baked stuffed shrimp. Oh, mm, so good, you guys. I'm going to have rice peel off with it and some steamed broccoli. Oh, can't wait. Having a late night tonight because I had some electricity issues out of one of my outlets. The outlet that my internet box... My TV box. Oh, and my toaster. Not my toaster oven, but my um, uh, air bake oven there. Guess what? Convection. That outlet wasn't working, so I had to rearrange stuff. Anyway, I'm here with you guys now. So anyway, good evening. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my haddock fillets, guys. That's going in my baking dish, okay? Because I'm going to be topping it with some shrimp. So I've got some nice haddock fillets. I got oh probably two and a half pounds. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some melted butter and go in the bottom of this pan. Okay, I got my oven heating up to oh 400 because and I always whenever I melt butter. Oh yeah, and you guys, guess what else I'm having with this meal? Yeah, me some steamed clams. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit, just because I was hungry for them. Okay, so I have my haddock fillets. See here? They're all rinsed and patted dry. I'm just going lengthwise at the bottom of this pan. Yeah, you know, just like this. Right on top of the melted butter, okay? Now, real quickly. Okay, just kind of land them in here. Hold on. Move this up. All right, so I'm just going to... I'm going to... Got a towel over here. Guys, I'm a little bit discombobulated because that electricity issue threw me off tonight. And I was coming live right when it happened. So anyway, all right, guys. So haddock's in the dish. Bottom with butter. Now I'm just going to lightly season. Very little salt, okay? Very little. Put some pepper on here. I'm just on these fillets. Not much, just a little bit. Okay, now... I'm just going to top, hold on, real quick, lightly garlic powder. You know I'm a shaker. Okay, lightly garlic powder. Now, Parmesan cheese, lightly sprinkled over the top, okay, guys? You know, make sure your fillets are covered. You'll see. I'll show you. So at this point, I even sprinkle it in the melted butter. Okay, you guys, look. Hey, Alicia Spear, how you doing? Andrew Fisher, how you doing? So good to see you too, Andy. Thanks for tuning in. I miss you like crazy. I'll be see you up, see you soon. Okay, I'm just kind of, put some shrimp here. There's my haddock. I don't know if you guys can see it. With just the cheese. Okay, now, to show my YouTube crowd, there's the haddock with the cheese. This is the shrimp that I'm going to be using. Okay, guys. Oh, Diane Chad Vaughn. Thanks for tuning in, Dallin. I love you, Miss Chef. Hold on, you guys. I'm having problems with my stuff here. Hold on. There. All right, guys. Okay. There's only three people that I see tuning in. Oh, Cameron Thistlewood's watching. How you doing, Cameron? Okay, guys. So I got that done. I'm just now lightly, just some Italian style breadcrumbs, lightly going over the top of this fish. I'm not going heavy. Because I don't want it to be casserole. You know, like casserole-ish. I just want to go lightly with these. Look. Lightly with these crumbs. I don't want these crumbs to overpower my fish or my baked stuffed shrimp. Don Marie Lamro, how you doing? Da oh my God, I miss you. Haven't seen you forever. You look the same. I still have that Zorro Costo. <laughs> Not the half, though. I got rid of that. Okay, you guys. Now... I'm going to set my fish to the side, okay? Just while I'm prepping my shrimp. Okay, well, I'm going to make the stuffing first. Okay, so what I've got here, normally, most restaurants will use Ritz crackers. Um, oh, cookie. Yes. I'm using townhouse crackers, butter flavored, because that way you don't have to add as much butter. Well, I'm going to add some butter, but, you know, I'm not going to load it with butter, because I hate a greasy stuffing. Teresa, how you doing, Dallin? Thanks for tuning in. 
Glad to see you today. Yes, I'll make you a bowl of fish dinner. That'll come up soon. I'm just crushing, 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 pulverizing these. My friend Teresa, she's my good friend, and I love her because she calls me the town chef. She knows it. She knows. Don't you, don't you, Teresa? <laughs> okay, you guys. Just crushing, crushing these uh, townhouse crackers. Just getting them crummy. I don't mind if there's a few little chunks in there, but I'm going to try to get them crushed up as good as I can, okay? Yeah, you know, sometimes I just use my hands. I'm not going to dirty some type of utensil, cooking appliance, to you know, just to crush these... Um, crackers. I'm just going to use my hands. Going to wash your hands anyway, right? All right, guys. Oh, I see my cousin Mark's on. Facebook is having a brain fight. Okay, well, I had a hard time getting logged on tonight, so that explains it. I think, well, everyone, you know, home. And I don't mind if there's a few little chunks in here. Now, guys, mm. I love, I learned how to make baked stuff shrimp years and years ago. Hi, Jerry, darling. I love you, miss you. Um, anyway, I learned how to make baked stuff shrimp years ago. I used to work at the Winslow, in Winslow, Maine, the Love Trap restaurant. Years and years ago. It was so popular. Lines out the door, you know, two, three hundred at a time. It was crazy. But anyway, I learned how to make a baked stuff shrimp there. All right, these are crust enough for me, guys. Okay. Now, let me... Hold on a second. I think I'll go in with my spoon and just crush some of these bigger pieces. I don't want them too, too fine anyway. But I want them, you know, crush. All right, guys. So this might be a little bit longer video tonight. Hope you don't mind. You guys are all at home, not getting out. You know, bye by the law, the rules. All right. In here, crush town crackers. Kevin Durkee, how you doing? Jerry, you wish you was here to have this meal? I do too. Guys, these glasses are driving nuts. Okay, what I'm going to add to this now, I just have a little bit of herb seasoning stuff in there. I'm only going in with half a box, okay? Half a package. Because, not that I want the flavor, it'll add a little bit. But, what I want to do is I want to add a little crunch to my stuffing. And I want it to be a little bready, but not too bready. You know what I mean? Because I'm not doing like a baked stuffed haddock or anything. I'm putting these in just some shrimp. You know, I got some 1620 shrimp. I wanted the 1215, so they didn't have them. So I had to get the 1620, which is which that means that's how many you get in per pound. Okay, these are tiger shrimp. So they come from the south, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. First thing, one scrambled egg going in. Um, now, I'm going to add some pepper. Oh, not much. Probably half a teaspoon. I'm not adding much salt, just a quarter of a teaspoon. I got some Old Bay seasoning. Well, look here, guys. Look here. I got some Old Bay seasoning. I'm just shaking it in. Mary, how you doing? How's the, the weather down there in Florida? Hey, look. I'm just shaking in. This is going to be probably about a quarter of a teaspoon no more than half a teaspoon, okay, guys? This will overpower your crab meat. But yet, it's going to enhance that flavor and bring out some seafood flavor in this stuffing, okay? Parsley flakes, color. No flavor, just color. And a little bit of garlic powder. You know what? Yeah, not much. Just probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. Now, I'm just sprinkling in a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Not much, probably about a teaspoon. Not gonna do nothing to this foot to your uh okay guys. I got a whole onion. This little grater. Okay, you guys. Hey Ben Mac, how you doing? Pepperidge farm? No, that's not pepperidge farm, it's just stove top. I usually do use pepperidge farm. Okay, you guys watch. I'm just putting some juice. I don't want the chunks. I just want a little bit of juice in here. Just add some flavor, guys. You know what? Just a little bit. I love onion. I'm gonna scrape off it. There. Not much at all, guys. Now, let me get my knife. I'm trying to hurry this up. I'm just cutting a... I got a whole lemon here. I'm just cutting a quarter of it. Just going to squeeze some juice in it. Not much. Just a little bit. And make sure the seed doesn't go in like I just did. Okay, I got it. It's going in my little 
trash bowl here on the side. Hey, Madeline, how you doing? Snazzy is up, Melissa. How you doing, best friend? I miss you so much, too. Get up here. We need to cook. Bang some food out. You guys, I'm just wiping my hands here. All right, so now, you guys, what I'm going to do, the only thing left to do to this is add the crab meat. I'm going in with a half a pound. This crab meat was purchased from Alley Seafood, my family down here. Thank you, Bobby. She always gets her best picker to pick for me. I love it. You know. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm taking a fork. I'm just going to kind of go through my crab meat. Now, normally, if I was using this for crab meat rolls, I would squeeze out all the juice. But I'm not going to. This crab meat flavor is going to add some sea flavor in it. I'm just kind of going through this with a fork. Going like this. That way, if I hear a shell or a piece of cartilage on my crab meat, you guys, I'll hear it on my fork. So I'm going in with a whole half pound. Like I said, the, the best picker picked this, so I know there's no shells in it. But I'm just be... You know, be cautious. You know how it goes, guys. Now, if I had some scallops and some lobster meat, I'd totally throw it in this stuffing, okay, guys? But I don't have those tonight. So I'm just going to use, you know, you know, just this. Now, mm -hmm. I have, oh, you know, a little, you can use sherry, cooking wine. I got some white wine. Delicious white, right out of the box. Like you guys all don't know, it's as classy as I get. Look, I'm only going in with about, oh, about a quarter of a cup of wine. I don't want too much of this. Maybe I'll drink the rest. Okay, good. Now, butter, melted butter. I'm going to go in with about a half a stick. This is, the egg will bind, help keep your stuffing together. The butter is going to add some moistness and flavor. Okay, there. I'm going to toss this around just to see how this does. Now, normally if I was doing just the baked stuffed shrimp, I probably wouldn't add the breadcrumbs. But where it's on top of the haddock, I want it to be a little stuffing-y, you know, kind of stuffing-like. But yeah, you want those uh, Ritz crackers in it because they have tremendous flavor. They really do. This crab meat is smelling so good. In this stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Mm hmm. You know, I amaze myself. You guys all know that, right? And I love every minute of it. So, anyway, um, whoops, got some on here. So, anyway, um, oh my god, you guys, I wish you could smell this stuffing. It is amazing. Amy, how you doing? Of course, you can lick the bowl, darling. You can lick anything you want. Well, you know, when it comes to food. I'm just kidding. So anyway, you guys, I had to get my mind out the gutter. You know, I am self-quarantining, guys. Cheers. Yeah, I've been awfully bored. Uh, I worked for, well, I put four out, five hours of work in today. Um, okay, look. See how that's clumping together? That's what you want. I'm just incorporating and stirring it good because I want to get that egg incorporated, you know, pretty well through here. Oh, my word. Mm. Fancy. Oh, my God. I don't even need the lobster. I don't even need... Look at this crab meat stuffing, you guys. <laughs> Homemade gourmet all the way, guys. Oh, Kathy Rancor, I love you too, darling. So sorry for your recent loss. Hugs, I miss you. I came across some pictures of you. I can't remember the girl we used to hang out with. I think it was a Desmond. Kelly, maybe? Um, I got a snapshot of them and send them to you. They're a hoot and a half. Timmy, back when we was in high school, girl. Okay, all right, you guys. Now for the fun, exciting part. You move this stuff into the side. Hold on, I got a mess going here. Get this off the counter. All right, rinse my hands. I'm not wearing an apron tonight because I wasn't in the mood. I'm roasting. So I got a little towel cooked, hooked here. Okay, guys. Kathy, you remember. Oh, Wendy Beal, thanks for tuning in. Scooter, how you doing? Len, hey, how you doing, good friend? All right, you guys, now, I want to show you something to do with these shrimp. And I was kind of bummed out when I bought them, because this is the only shrimp the store had. Now, this is the back side of the shrimp. It came already with the split in it, and they took out that poop vein, okay? I wish they hadn't done that. Normally, what I would do is do a thin little cut down that edge, 
pull that out. But what I like to do is I like to cut on the inside, flay it to the bottom, pull the vein out. Then you have, then it's open flat, good for stuffing. However, I kind of had to jerry-rig the shrimp, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stuff them on the, the front side. Here's the back side. I got them all deveined. See, because I like for my tail to be up like this. Just makes it look nicer. This way, I thought I went in and I tried to cut up in under this tail piece. I thought it might make it stand up some, but it won't. That's all right. You got to improvise. You know, that's what our chefs do. All right, so these are just some extra shrimp. I'm going to put those to the side. Bring my haddock back over. Okay, again, I have my oven heating to 400 degrees, guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, here's the shrimp. I want it so the tail goes up like this. You don't need much for stuffing on these shrimp. I love this because you can mold it. Here. And this is just how I'm going to set that glob of stuffing. Mind you, that glob of stuffing. But anyway, right on top of that shrimp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these shrimp right straight across on top of the haddock. <laughs> guys, wait. Guys, wait. I know my mother's thinking, oh, you never made that for me before. Well, it's been a long time since I made this dish. You know, and I'm trying to come up with some different dishes for you guys that is totally different. Now, I am recording on YouTube right now, you guys. I would love it if all my Facebook friends would go over to YouTube, like my channel there. It's Todd's Everyday Gourmet. Every day is two words on that site. Um, you know, like and follow. Um, subscribe. I'd wicked appreciate it. If I can get a... I'm still got very low subscribers on that page. And it's because I'm not a paid member. Oh, sexy cooking. I love it. You should see me when I'm wearing just my apron. No, just kidding. I wouldn't want, me, I wouldn't want you guys to lose your appetite. Although I'm not that bad looking, really. Okay, so anyway, i um going to become a paid member on there, all right? So, I haven't done that yet. I've just been lazy about setting it up. Why, I don't know. It only takes probably five minutes to do it. I don't know. I've been kind of undecided about doing it because, I don't know. The people that I'm working with, um, the woman that I'm working with does my advertising. That's going to be helping me out in my future with my cookbook. Oh, she just, you know, basically said... Okay, see how I'm doing this? I got that butterfly. It's the backwards way, but who cares? I am just putting these, this stuffing. Oh, my God. You got, <laughs> this is a very impressive dish. You do this when company comes over. See, you want to stand these tails up. Stuck it in the stuffing if you have to, just to hold it up. Because that makes it look nicer and more attractive. Okay? All right, guys. Now... As soon as I put these in the oven, oh, Laura Dillon, you remember our late night cooking, so don't I. Were we drinking? We were probably having drinks back then because we were just teenagers. But anyway, uh, oh, my God, you guys, this dish will totally impress any company that you serve this to. I'm telling you. And so simple. But, yeah, it looks like you prepped hours for it. Well, it does take time to peel and devein the shrimp. Look at this. Oh, my God. I put all the shrimp going the same way because I want all my tails up, you guys. Okay. See, I have a late night supper tonight because, well, I kind of slept in today, you know. Well, no, I didn't. I got up early. Went and cleaned the bank like I always do. Was home by 7.30. And then at 9 o'clock, 9.30, I... Well, I went to work for four hours. You know, two hours on, an hour off, then two more hours on. So, you know, just had to... Okay, now these shrimps, these... Hold on. I think I can show you what I'm going to do. I'll get my knife and show you exactly what I mean by the... Okay, see the shrimp right here? That's the back side. What I do is I take my knife. I'm going up under this shell on the back, right close to the... Cutting down in... Flipping over. You can see a black vein right here. I'm going right on top of it thinly. Right down to the bottom. Okay. 
I'm sticking my knife in, pulling that vein out. There's the vein. Okay? Gone. I don't want to eat that nasty stuff. Now what I'm going to do, because we're split on the back side. Hey, John, how you doing, handsome? All right, look. Just butterfly in this until it almost gets to the end. Okay. You know what? This might have to be good enough. I'm running out of shrimp. Just going to stuff that in there. Hopefully that piece will stand up. Hold on. There we go. There. Look at that. I want to... Hold on. That's making me mad. Hold on. <laughs> you guys. Sorry about that. Let me get back at it. I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to go like this. So it's rounded. There we go. Put this like... Oh, my God. It's split in half. It's driving me nuts. Guys. Well, guess what? I'm just going to use this one. I need two more. One of them's not going to be the best. But I just butterflied it from the other side. I can still get to that vein and pull it out. Look, see? Pulling that out. Looking in my bowl, my garbage bowl. All right, guys, now, setting that on top of there. Right on top of this third. One more. Let me see if I can salvage one of these right here. Oh, my God. That stuffing smelling so good. And I think what I'll do with the leftover stuffing is save my clam shells for my steamers, rinse them off good, stuff them clams, and bake them. That'll be a nice appetizer for tomorrow. Uh, let me see what I got left here for shrimp. I think what I'm going to do is make one more to put right there. Again, this is going to be a jerry-rigged one. There we go. Oh, my God, you guys, this smells so good. And you want to add the wine. Here you go. Oh, my God. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Okay, hold on. Let me move this stuff out the way that I'm not using. All right. Rinse my hands. All right, guys. Woo! I'm a little warm in here. Okay, all I'm going to do to this is I'm going to take a little bit of my butter and just go over a little bit of top of this stuffing. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. You don't need much because there's butter in there, butter-flavored crackers. I got butter on the bottom, okay? Besides, I'm going to save the rest of the butter to have with my steamers that I'm going to have for an appetizer. Yes, I usually do post the recipes, Kathy. Oh, Andrew, you're so kind. I hope so. That's what I'm trying to do. I want you to help me. You know, I've told you that from day one. You might be able to next year. Wendy, how you doing? Amy, you're so funny. Okay, guys, now... My oven, like I said, is preheated. What I'm doing, I can't, I'm taking very little paprika. Just going to go over the top lightly on there. I don't want to go heavy, okay? Very lightly. Okay? Mm, God, you guys should smell this. I should smell this. Okay. Now, as you know, if I have some fresh parsley, which my grocery store hasn't had for the past two weeks, but I got some dry. Just color. Doesn't add flavor. Okay? So what I'm going to do, just going to go over the top. Lightly over the top. Oh, you guys wait till you see this. This will be done by the time this video is done, okay? It's going in the oven, 400 degrees, 20 minutes. Uncovered. Okay? She's in. Time is set. Uh... Okay, 20 minutes. Might be done in 15. Ed Fagon, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Mm. Hey, that white delicious wine. Mm. Not bad out the box. Normally I drink it on ice. Okay, so guys, now I've got my water boiling for my steamers. My steamers are all rinsed, all degridded. They're going in the water. They'll take about 10 minutes. Once the water starts boiling... They'll take about five minutes. No more than that, okay? You don't want to overcook them. They're more rubbery. I got some steamed broccoli here. Just going to have butter, salt, and pepper on that. And I got some wild rice pilaf. 
And my steam is. I'm going to turn my steam is on high now. Okay, guys. I guess I'm not prepared. I should have had something else to do while I was sitting here with you guys. Um, well, anyway, I can pick up. You guys want to hang out with me? Nothing else going on, right? Oh, your mouth is watering? Get down here, Diane. We need to bang out some food and visit together. You know it. Just like the good old days. Miss my thing. All right, guys, I'm just going to stick my stuff. Look at this stuff in up. You guys want to see this stuff in up close? Look. You can see the crab meat in there. There's lots of crab meat. Look at that onion flavor, some lemon, some wine, garlic. Mm, God, it smells so good. It smells so good. Hi, Judy, darling. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Judy, you feel like coming over to do some dishes? I'll feed you. <laughs> Kathy, it's... The same thing on here, Todd's Everyday Gourmet, but every day is two words. If you subscribe and follow, you can get noted. Cassidy, how you doing? Oh, my niece is watching. Love you, darling. Hope you're being safe. I hope you're self-quarantining. Sing a song. You guys, I'm going to do that. I am going to sing a song. I'm going to karaoke with the music, because I'm not good without it. But guess what? I'm going to do a, the karaoke quarantine. You guys, I've been watching it. There's so many good people on there. I'm watching one individual specifically. Her name is Jessica Rose. Oh my God, she rocks. She's awesome. Um, been watching her. She's crazy as hell. I love her. She'll do anything. She puts live uh, concerts on in her living room. Oh my God. She's a hoot and a half and she's she don't, she don't care. She just does what she wants. So guess what? I'm going to do it too. Oh, uh, you had a lean cuisine for dinner, Ramey? Yum. Haven't had one of those for a while. All right, guys. Um, God, I wish I <laughs> would have thought this out a little bit better because I could have nah, cooked the rice. You know how it goes. I just sit and chit-chat with you guys. Um, how about, hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Um, maybe I can, there's a girl. What am I, there's a fan that follows me. She's always like, oh, I love your cookware. I love your dishes. So while we're just hanging here, I'm going to show her. I'll show you guys one of my favorite dishes. My mom bought me this. Oh, uh, it's put out by Palm Restaurant. Oh, guys, drop the cover. Anyway, it's put out by Palm Restaurant. It's got the ceramic inside. Nothing sticks to it. And you know, it's a little bit deep. It's got the handle on the side. You get your sauces in there. One of my favorites. I, believe it or not, am using this to make omelets. Crepe omelets, okay? Real thin jobbies. Right in this pan, they don't stick. I cook, put my egg mixture in here. I just let it cook a little bit, to the, enough to the point where I can quickly flip it. Stays whole. Then I add my cheese, meat, and veggies. By that time, she's ready to flip. She's all cooked. Makes my one beautiful omelet, okay? So this is one of my favorite pans, you guys. That's a... 12 inch round. So I use that all the time. Uh, I don't know. Today, I went grocery shopping today. Um, you know, geez, I didn't, before I, I knew it, I only had like one of those little shopping carts that has the double uh, baskets. I only filled the top basket. $130 at my local grocery store crazy. Price gouging, I know that's going on in every grocery store in, in America. But anyway, bought a ham for Thanksgiving. I mean for Easter. It's coming Sunday. Not a ham lover, but everyone that's going to be coming over for dinner will want ham. So I'll cook a ham. I may even do a corned beef on the side too. Oh, taking care of an injured hubby, oyster capona. Hope you're all right. Not doing too bad. And Trudy, I was just kidding about the dishes. No, if you come over and want to do them, I, I'd let you. <laughs> Ain't that awful? I can't stand doing dishes. But anyway, um, God, where, what was I talking about? Okay, well, anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, so I went grocery shopping today. Spent all that money. You know, and I went the other day, spent 60 Went the other day, two, you know, two days before that, spent 100 I'm like, what, are, what am I buying? Everything that I've been cooking... Not eating everything. Instead of freezing the leftovers, I've been throwing them out. 
It's been crazy. I fed the gulls today. I have one of those great big roasters. Leftover food just all went in there. Carried it down to the wharf behind my house. Low tide. Threw it out. Oh my God, about 50 gulls came a swarming in. My food was gone in no time. They were eating like whole chicken legs, choking them. Gross. Oh, here's my clam steaming. Oh, God, do they smell good. Hey, guys, I'm going to put a little bit more butter in my uh, pan because I don't really have enough for what I want for these steamers. I'm going to get that melting. i got a quarter of a stick here. I'll use that. That'd be plenty. Get that back burner on low. Okay. All right, you guys have any questions while I'm hanging out? Yeah, Easter, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So anyway, you guys have any questions for me? What's going on? What are you guys all doing for Easter? I'm having a traditional ham dinner, which I think is boring, but I will. Oh, I'm going to come up with some veggie side dish this year different. I'll probably go live making that Easter morning um, with a ham. Last year, I did a carrot coin casserole. The year before that, I did a um, a broccoli, oh, chicken bait. I had it as a side dish. I didn't put a lot of chicken. I put mostly veggies. Um, and the year before that, I did green bean casserole. But, you know, I do green bean casserole for Christmas, Thanksgiving. You know, I don't want it for Easter. I want something different. And this year, I think I'm going to do something light so it's not a heavy dish. So, you know, anyway. So my trip to New York got canceled, guys. Yeah, you know, obviously. We were going down on the 20th. Bondell and I were going to go down for a week. Had everything all paid for. So we're trying to get our money back. The only thing we can't get our money back on is our tickets. So we can use those up anytime. Yeah, social distancing. That's right. Just family. Just family will be here. Turkey for three. Oh, nice. Patricia, what do you make for Easter sides? Well, this year, I usually do... If I'm doing a ham, obviously, I'll do some mashed potato. Um, I will do a broccoli and cheese sauce, always, because that's my favorite. Um, and this year, I'm going to look through some cookbooks to do some type of a veggie side dish. Like I said, last year was a carrot coin casserole. Loved it. Only made it that one time. <laughs> but I want to do something different. I'm thinking this year I might do something with spinach. Spinach, onions, mushrooms, something on that lines. I'm going to figure it out. I'll whip something up. Who knows? You hope Tim's cooking? I know. I bet he's a good cook. He's got a really nice kitchen. Yeah. So anyway, um, let me see. These steamers. Oh, they're done. Guess what? I'm going to drain them. No, I'm not. I'm going to get a bowl. Should I get a bowl? Put some of the um, clam broth in. Yeah, look. To rinse. There we go. Save some of the broth. Now I'm going down here, drain the rest. I haven't had steam as like since the summer. You guys. So I'm going to save that broth right there. Andy, awesome. Good for you. After this isolation's over, when I come to Waterville, I'm, we're definitely hooking up. We're going to cook. Or I'll cook you something. Or maybe I'll bring you something that I can cook, like that quiche you mentioned. I can do that. I got scallops in my freezer. So I guess I'll drink this wine. I can't have it go to waste, you guys. Yeah, so, Scooter. Oh, you like drinking the broth? A lot of people do. I just dump my clams and give them a little rinse, and then it goes into the butter. You know what? All right, now. Ah, uh, let's see. You get a plate. Throw some of these clams on. Oh, my God. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You guys, I'm smelling. Already starting to smell. Oh, yum. Andy, that sounds delicious. You know I love that. All right, my butter's melted. Almost. For God's sakes. And I hate when the butter wrapper sticks on the butter when you rip it off there. Hey, let me rinse my hands, guys, real quick. All right. 
Yeah, so anyway, these were just dug. These clams were just dug this morning. Let me get a butter dash for these. Oh, God, that hot. Yeah, it's some melted butter. I never put vinegar in my butter for my clams. Kind of grosses me out. I don't think vinegar goes on seafood, but I know people do it all the time. Oh, thanks. Look, I'm going to have one. I'll show you. They are good. They're nice and fresh. Probably dug out over uh, heading towards Alley's Bay, I'm assuming. That's where I've seen a lot of the diggers lately. But who knows? I'm gonna take that rubber piece off. God's sake, that's, that's on there good. Okay, take that off, and I take that strip off. Yep. And what I do, I go right in the broth, rinse that puppy, dunk her in the butter. Oh, baby. Mmm. Oh, my God. Mmm. God, these clams are delicious. I know. You can't. Oh, Kathy, make you a plate and leave it on the doorstep? You wait till you see this dish. Mmm, baby. You know, it doesn't take long for seafood to cook. Now, someone that's not familiar with cooking seafood would throw that dish in the oven and bake it for an hour. Wow, way overcooking it. Fish cooks so fast. Seriously. You know, except like your more media hearty fishes, like your swordfish, you know, tuna steaks. You know, even salmon takes a little bit longer than, you know, maybe 15 minutes in the oven. Maybe 20 tough. You don't want to overcook it. Um, but you don't have to cook to death. I say this every time I cook seafood. You know? So, anyway. Um, oh, my God. Those clams are good. And I really only like the small clams. I don't care for those big ones. But, anyway. Um, look at this. Guys, these are delicious. Right fresh. Right out of the Atlantic Ocean. Probably swimming this morning to be, well, not swimming, you know, hanging out in the mud. I'll give it a rinse. Into the butter. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I'll, Andy, I'll bring us some. Next time I come up, I'll bring us lobsters and clams like I used to do. Ah, oh, I know. How's Georgie doing? I miss that little bugger. Honey's doing great. She's 12 now. Oh, so anyway, YouTube, I want to thank you guys all for tu tuning in with me. I really appreciate it. I haven't come to you live for a while because I've been having some issues with one of my phones. been popping and banging me out left and right. So anyway, I'm hoping you'll get this video tonight. I'm at 37 minutes. I might not have much more time with you guys, but oh, you, I wish you guys could smell that fish. Mmm, so good. <laughs> Teresa, you know me, right? Just being me, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? Okay, you guys, gonna have me another steamer. These are so freaking good. I wish you guys were here to have some. I totally would feed you guys. You know it, right? I love cooking for people. Well, you know, I get satisfaction when I cook a good meal and everyone tells me how good it is. I appreciate that. Because I know how hard I work on making a nice meal. You know, for everybody. I do my best. I'm not a bad cook or chef, whatever. Oh, anyway. Mm. God, these are so good. I probably won't be able to walk tomorrow because I do have gout. <laughs> Shellfish causes gout. Anyway. Oh. Oh, you got Oscar too? Oh, I love that little bugger. Has your mom made it back to Maine yet? I saw you told her to stay, but I know she wants to get home. What's going on there? Oh, Eileen, you come anytime, darling. We'll have steamers next time you come. I know, you guys. I feel guilty eating these steamed clams in front of you guys. But they're so good. <laughs> I can't stop. Now, what I'll do with the leftover clam shells, I'm saving them because I'm going to make some baked stuff clams with the leftover stuffing in these shells for tomorrow for an appetizer for dinner tomorrow night. Mm. Oh, more wine? I know, right? Hey, Andy, my mom, she's so funny. She watches some of my videos. I don't know why she says this, but she goes, Oh, my God, you were soused in that one last night. 
No, I'm really not soused him. I only have one or two tops, you know, before I come live. But, you know, just call me another Julia Childs. Hey, she got soused when she drank wine cooking. Not soused, but she had a good time. Oh, Annette, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Oh, kind of a neighbor. She's like up the road and down one street from here. More wine I need to catch up. Oh, she's stuck in San Diego. Yeah, and Palm Desert. Oh, I'd rather be stuck there than be here. At least it's warmer. Oh, my God. You guys should smell what I'm smelling. Oh, my mother, she is too funny. I know. I know. She cracks me up. She says she sees you, Lily, every once in a while out shopping. Yeah. Yeah, she hasn't changed a bit, has she? It's funny as heck. Anyway, um... I'll have another clam. I gotta entertain you guys somehow, don't I? That rubber piece, I gotta get that peeled off the neck. Oh my god, you guys. I only eat steamers once or twice a year. Kathy, any time. <laughs> She's showing sure now. Yep, yep. She doesn't age, I know, she looks the same. And she's just as sweet and generous as she always has been. Oh, and Nat, thanks. I love for you watching me. Anytime. Yeah, I know, Andy. You can smell the fish from here? Oh, you should... Oh, if you can smell it from there, I've done a good job. <laughs> I am coming to New Hampshire to see you and Bri Bri soon. Well, I think I'll wait till it warms up. Kathy Rancourt. So cute, you guys. My dog's in here smelling, waiting for what's about to come. Hey, you guys, I only got three minutes left on that fish. Oh, my God. Mm. Wow. Hey, Dwina, how you doing? Oh, no, I like that, Pat. That's my... I don't chew it anyway. I just swallow them. I don't even taste it. If I had to chew on it, it would probably gross me out. But I know what you mean, Dwine. A lot of people don't like the neck. This had rubbery pieces, the neck. Okay. Then you got your belly. There's your belly. To your main clam. Then you got your sweet meat. Then you got your clam strip. Holds it all together. Give it a rinse in. That's how you eat a main steamer. Mmm. God. Definitely going to post it tonight, Lorraine. Just for you, sweetheart. I love you. I miss emceeing with you, too. Paige, how you doing, beautiful? Andy. 2021's my year. And if I make it, you're going to help me. I'm going to hire you to help me. You know what? You and I can bang out some good food together. Can't wait. We should do a cooking video together. I'll do all the talking if you don't want. Okay, so, oh, I can hear, oh, never mind, that's not what I'm hearing. I was thinking I could hear my fish sizzling in the oven, but it was my melted butter. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, I've had enough clams. They're going back in the pot to stay warm. Enough clams for now. I'll move the butter over here and my broth. All right. I have... Let me stick these in the fridge. Hold on, guys. God, I don't usually have so much free air time just to chit-chat with you guys, but I'm having fun. You guys have a blast tonight. So if you guys get a chance, please, please, go check out my friend. She's not really my friend. I just friended her on Facebook, and she's awesome. Jessica Rose on um, Quarantine Karaoke. She's from Portland, Maine. She's crazy as hell. She's awesome, and she don't give a shit. I love her. She's actually inspired me to want to do some carry. Yes, we'll do it, Andy. Definitely. We'll do it. All right, you guys. You hear me, Beepa? My time is going off. Oh, uh, hold on. I need to rinse my hands and wipe the counter up real quick. You guys, bear with me one second. God, I got cupboard doors open. I'm not dealing with a full deck tonight, you guys. 
Hold on. Probably because I'm self-quarantining, right? <laughs> oh, no, I'm taking it really serious. Just because, you know, I'm borderline diabetic type 2, and I have a low autoimmune um, disease, which is my muscle disease, as you guys know. So i got to be very careful, my doctor told me. Wear my mask, disinfect as much as possible. I've only been getting out in the morning, clean the bank, no one there. I run up to the grocery store real quick. Post off at home, and I'm in for the day and night. It's starting to go a little bit crazy. That's why I'm having a drink tonight. Hi, Corey Taylor. Thanks for tuning in. All right, you guys. I'm going to put a few things away. I'm going to check that fish. Oh, wow. I think it needs two more minutes. Just want to leave it in there. Two more minutes. Did I drink all that wine? Down the hat she goes, guys. Laura, I love you. Miss you like crazy. And remember, oh, God. Must have been 19 years old, but remember when we worked down to um, Bath and we worked down to the wharf for Chuck? Early mornings, we'd drive down there. Usually, we were hung over to beat Jesus. But we'd get down there, work all day till 8 o'clock at night. Then drive home, then turn around the next morning and do it. I don't know how we did it. But we had a ball. You drank all yours? I'm moving on to this now. This is almost full. That was fun. Yeah, real good time. So anyway, you guys, I'm so excited. My last video, I got a notification from Facebook. Thanks to all you fans, followers, friends, family, whoever. Whoever is watching me on Facebook, I have 5,000 friends on there. So I don't know who watches me and who doesn't. Usually I can tell by the likes, the hearts, the shares, and the comments. But anyway, last video I did. What did I make? You guys remember what I made my last video? Who can tell me? Maybe you can remind me because I can't remember. <laughs> no, my last video. Well, anyway. My last video. God, what did I make? Wasn't the meatballs. Hmm. Anyway. So anyway. My... Oh, God. Don't even say that. Laura, live. I don't want people to know I was sick. Okay. Anyway. My last video. Corn cake. Yes, the corn cake dinner. Ooh. Hey, my cousin... His man and them are going to come down this summer. And his boyfriend and I are going to bang out some big stuff lobster tails. Can't wait. Yeah, corn take. You're right. I made a corn take dinner. My most hit. That video had the most hits ever on Facebook. Almost 4,000. Wow. I'm usually around 2,000. You guys, thank you so much. Keep it coming. I love it. Hey, Jerry. How you doing? Yeah, everyone's reminding me. Hate dinner. Okay, you guys. Mm. Oh, wow. Let me get my hot plate out. Well, I say hot plate. I'm just going to use um, that. Anyway. Oh, God. You got, oh, God. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Oh, wow. Guys, look at this. Here. You guys see this? That big stuff. That, this is baked haddock fillets with baked stuffed shrimp adorned on top. Okay, you guys? She is sizzling away. Look at this. What I'm going to do. Guys, know what? Okay, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a little bit of this butter. That's in the bottom of this pan. I'm just going over the top. Of this stuffing. On this baked stuffed shrimp. Oh my god. You guys. I wish company was here. Because I'm never going to eat all this meal. But thank god. I have a neighbor that I like to feed, and she is going to love this. She is going to love this, you guys. Okay, look. Guys, one more time. I just had to moisten the stuffing up a little bit. But look at this. There's your main haddock, fresh haddock fillets. Your um, 1620 tiger shrimp, deveined, filleted, and stuffed. With a Ritz cracker bread um, crab meat stuffing. 
Oh my god. I can't wait to dig into this. You guys wait. I'm gonna and I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna mix me a little bite. Hold on. Move this back over here. Here's my dog, honey. Here's my baby. Okay, shut the oven off. Alright, guys. Emma, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. How you watching from Harrington? Good. I just up there the other day, actually. Didn't get out anyway. I just took a ride. You know, being confined to the house, you get kind of bored. So I had to, you know, break up the day. Hey, you guys, I've been 50 minutes on this video. One of my longest ones. I try to keep them a half hour, 40 minutes tops. But, you know, I cooked my whole meal tonight. Okay, hold on. Bear with me. I am getting a plate. Now, I'm just going to... Oh, dear. Where is it? Okay, so I am just going to move a shrimp. This, oh my word. You guys, hold on. I'm going to take an extra shrimp. I want two shrimp. Mm -hmm. You guys know what? Okay, now, I already had my clams. So I'm going to have a little bit of rice, wild rice pilaf. Now, what I was going to do... Oh, God, Andy, I love you so much. Thank you. Wade Marshall, thank you. You guys, wait. So I was going to, with my rice pilaf, my wild rice pilaf, I was going to put some pearl onions and peas in it. But I have steamed broccoli, and I just decided not to do that tonight. So I'm just going to have a little bit of rice on the side. Not much. Just a little bit. Not that hungry, really. You know. And a little bit of broccoli. Mm-hmm. You know what? Where'd my spoon go, right? And this is just frozen broccoli because the store did not have fresh broccoli today. And I was hungry for broccoli. Okay, you got, oh my God, you guys, guys, look here. Look here, guys. There is your baked haddock fillets with your baked stuffed shrimp on top. You'll never find this in a restaurant because restaurants do not do this. I've never been to a restaurant where they put baked stuffed shrimp on top of the baked haddock fillets. <laughs> My idea. Okay, you guys. It's going to be super hot. Okay, guys. I got a four. First of all, I want to have a bite of this haddock, you guys. Oh, whoop, hold on. Let me get back over here. Ah. Now, I wish I could make this plate look beautiful, but whatever. Okay. First, I'm going to try a bite of the haddock. I already know this is good. I make this recipe all the time. Mm. Oh, my. oh my god, you guys. That had it punched up full of flavor. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my stuffing and my shrimp. So I got a piece of here. Some stuffing. Piece of shrimp with some stuffing. You guys, Dwina. Wow. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. This shrimp, this big stuff shrimp, amazing with the crab meat stuffing. No, oh, no. Oh, my God. You can taste the crab meat because I added the juice. Mm. Oh, my God, you guys. Mmm. <laughs> I am teasing you guys because this is so freaking delicious. Oh my god. That rice. Mmm. Mmm. You know what I do sometimes to flavor my rice? Oh, thank you, Laura. Oh my god. Andy, I wish we were eating this meal together. I know you'd appreciate it. He's my best buddy. Haven't seen him for a while. But when we see each other, just like we pick up like we haven't seen each just like we seen each other yesterday. All right, guys. Oh, my God. You guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in with me tonight. Now I'm going to have some of the stuffing with a bite of the haddock. Mm. 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 Oh, my God. Guys. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah. Don't look too pretty now that I've been tackling. But look at this shrimp, you guys. See the shrimp? All stuffed. I put it on my fork. Just to give you an idea what you're looking at. See the tails? They turn pink. My God, I have, <laughs> I have dropped my shrimp. Okay, I've got... 
<laughs> I keep dropping it, you guys. Oh, well. Anyway, this fork's a little slippery. I'm just dropping it into my plate, but look. Look how good this looks. See? Mmm. So there you guys have it, my... No, Andy, you know I'm a tease, Andy. Yeah. Yes, yes, right with the broccoli. I will definitely post a recipe sometime tonight. Probably after I rewatch this video and see what a fool I made of myself tonight. But anyway, who cares? That's what I'm on here to do, entertain you guys. All right. I'm done. Thank you so much, you guys. All of you. For, post, uh, for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate it. YouTube, thank you so much for um, liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. Please, Facebookers, head over there. I really appreciate it. You guys, I love you all. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Abide by the regulations. Okay, you guys, I'll post a recipe later. Night.